The latest developments surrounding the Fort Pierce Central linebacker arrested on felony charges of lewd and lascivious behavior. And tonight, we are hearing from the star football player's attorney as well. Covering the Treasure Coast with the largest news team, John Shaman is live outside Fort Pierce Central High tonight, where Sharif Rahid uh, returned to school today, in fact. John? Well, Shannon, the family is not talking, but the attorney for the family tells me this afternoon that he spoke with Sharif Rahid last night and that the teenager is a little bit shaken up by what has been happening. But the attorney told him it's important that as this case plays through the legal system, the high school senior stays on a regular schedule. Attorney Bob Watson says the case involving star linebacker Sharif Rahid involves two juveniles, and he says juvenile cases are complicated and confidential. I understand why there might be interest in it. But I think that the privacy of the young people involved should outweigh any interest in the story. Watson said his client is a very polite kid. He is a very well-respected young man. He's well-liked by his teammates, by his coaches, and the notoriety here has certainly um, put some things in jeopardy. That thing is a football scholarship to the University of Louisville. No decision has been made yet by the university over whether it will pull that offer. Watson says he hopes the school will wait for the legal process to run its course. I think the court case will go well for him, but there are public interests and private interests that are involved. Watson is hoping the publicity this case has brought won't bring out additional problems for the two teens involved now or in the future. And to have a lot of notoriety brought to them about something that might not be their proudest moment can have lasting effects on these kids. Now, Sharif Rahid faces one felony count of lewd and lascivious behavior. Now, the family of the other teen said that they did not want to go ahead with prosecution, but it will be up to the state as a state attorney's office to determine that whether they will go ahead. They have 90 days to make that decision, and whether or not the 17 year old, if they do decide to prosecute, will try him as an adult. Now, if this case is adjudicated in juvenile court, any potential punishment that is handed down will expire by Sharif Rahid's 19th birthday. Day. We're live at Fort Pierce, John Shane, WPTV, News Channel 5.